The financial crisis isn't just in the US, it is clearly evident in Europe and other parts of the world right now. And you can see how this debt problem is being compounded by adding more debt. Quite foolish when you ask me. Investors are pulling out, just this is in August alone, 17 billion pounds from UK as the banks ratchet up Scottish independence pressure. And there were hundreds of billions pulled out in 2014 alone. They are seeking a much safer um, assets and basically deciding to pull their money out because they are unsure where it's going to go. Now, this is a type of bank run that is occurring. And of course, the government always will always, always say that will, they will be there to backstop that. But you know that in any country around the world, they simply do not have enough. They would have to resort to the central bank printing up that currency. Now, you have institutions and corporations that run above the government structure. And one of those is the IMF. And you can see this right now. I'll get into it in a moment. But what I wanted to say to you is that you have $2.66 trillion in tax revenue for uh, fiscal year 2014. And that's a record. And that's in just in August here. And then you can uh, see how they're still running a deficit of nearly $600 billion. How is this possible when they have such an extremely high rate of tax? They're making so much money. Yet they're in the, a large deficit like this. It doesn't make any sense because of the disparity that's been growing and growing because you have these institutions and corporations which are really deciding what happens in countries. Now, every one of your tax dollars, this is a diagram from my book, every one of your tax dollars gets split up and divided and a portion of that is brought into the IMF's hands, whether you like it or not. That's just the way it works. And speaking of the IMF, IMF tax bombshell, its plans for a higher VAT and property raid are wrong. They're simple matter of fact. What they do is decide what other countries will do with their finances, with their political decisions. It's pretty amazing the power that this institution has, even though nobody voted them in. And, you know, you can read this article for yourself, all the plans that they have, but they're, you know, suggesting that the petrol tax should be replaced by a national congestion fee. And this all goes in line with the whole carbon tax scheme that does nothing to abolish pollution at all. All it does is put more money into these institutions hands and that is not going to do anything but make them more rich give them more power and their political power and all that stronghold that they have over the government structure is just going to get stronger and it is not going to do anything for the, the environment at all it's basically this article goes through the imf's plans and basically they decide that more taxation is the answer to all of their problems, all the world's problems. But of course, that is absolutely not going to happen. Look at what's happening in Europe right now. You have Europe's bond yields, the lowest since the 15th century. This is amazing right now. And you can see that they're, you know, considering that, uh, you know, they're having a deflation and Russia being risky right now. So, you know, if you want, you can read the article. But what I'm essentially trying to say is that Europe is in big trouble right now. And I believe that they will be the first domino to fall. It will cause a real big chaos within the whole world. Because ultimately, when you have a system set up of a single interest rate and a single currency trying to you know, combine this with all these very dynamic uh, countries here, it just doesn't work. And ultimately, it's going to have to fall down and you're going to have central banks coming in to save them. Now, one person that's not having a problem right now is Warren Buffett. He's seeing more and more profits. And you can see this right now, where in this article out of Bloomberg, doubling down on pot, Buffett sells upper deck room to grow and he's talking about you know the uh, his new ventures here with ma marijuana and basically he's making more money than ever right now and this is one individual that uses the government structure in order to make more profit and you simply are part of the middle class and you will not see any of that profit you're going to be evaporated with the rest of the middle class while individuals like Warren Buffett, like the Facebook head, 
side, there are ma they are making more money than ever right now. They are profiting because they control the government, and that's just the way it is. If you found this video informative, please give me a thumbs up, and don't forget to become an insider. The insiders is where I give out all my best intel for free, and that's located at themoneygps.com. You scroll down to the bottom, fill in your email address, and you get occasional emails from me with good, short, concise info.